keep my niece and nephew away from me after everything we've been through. You're at a crossroads, Dimitri. In front of you is our family. You, me, the kids. And back of you is Hugo. Just let him rot in his crypt. Rotten is evil. Be my brother again. Be the brother that I can count on. Be the brother that pushed me through that sewer pipe when I didn't have the strength to crawl. Just don't be this man. Don't be this brother I can't even recognize. I take it you know what's going on? I just bought her some time. How? I told the judge she was in the hospital with pneumonia under lock and key. Now it's your turn. Where is she? I told you I can't help you. You want her to spend the rest of her life in prison? That won't happen now. You want to share what's a little kidnapping on top of a murder charge, right? My son is missing. And I know that doesn't mean that much to you, considering your hobby of stealing other people's children. But one way or another, I'm going to see him again. I am trying to protect the woman and her child. Dimitri, you're going to go to prison as an accomplice? Better me than Brooke. Your little hospital charade, it was a good call. I'm sorry it's for nothing. Dad! Don't bother. I would have beaten him myself. How long do we have? 48 hours. Let's go. Good, Edmund. The longer Kelsey stays in that hospital bed, the greater the chance she's going to be caught. And as far as we know, everything's under control. As far as we know, my whole family's in front of a moving train. This thing blows up. Yeah, just try to stay focused. It's easy for you to say. Focused on what? You find anything? Travel brochures, jet fuel receipts? I don't think so. You know, people usually are with themselves. Yeah. And then Nancy drew paper back. Gosh, Biff, all we gotta do is find the diary. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Mm. All right. Square one, what do we know? Dimitri's pilot filed a bogus flight plan. The plane was supposed to land in Buenos Aires and didn't. Right. Right. And now the pilot is nowhere to be found. Not by us. Now, neighbors haven't seen him or his wife in days. No. So maybe they're together. Presumably, with our luck, probably in Tahiti, courtesy of Merrick Enterprises. I swear sometimes I could just wring your brother's neck. Take a number. All right, what else? Brooke's under arrest. She'd need a fake passport to get out of the country. Mm-hmm. She'd have to end up someplace that didn't have an extradition treaty with the United States, someplace small, inconsequential, out of the way. OK, so we're looking for travel docs. And something to do with a missing pilot. Where's the key? The hell with the key. Why damage your fine antique? Here, open. Do you have a, a bad dream? I can't find my baseball cards. I think I left them. Are you sure? I looked everywhere and I can't find them. Come here. I know that you are absolutely too big for this, but hey, who cares, huh? It's cozy up here a little bit, huh? Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll look for your baseball cards tomorrow morning, okay? Actually, it's almost morning, you know that? <laughs> You comfy? You should be in bed, you know? We, we both should be in bed. Why were you awake? Oh, I guess I just, I couldn't sleep. I had a lot of, on my mind. You couldn't sleep either, huh? I miss my friends. I know, I know. But you know, 
what I think um, the two of us are going to have a great time together. We're going to do a lot of things. We're going to go hiking. We're going to go horseback riding. And uh, that little farm, you know that farm where we, we saw the two little goats? You like that, didn't you? You like that? Yeah, but I still miss Junior and Amanda and Aunt Phoebe and my dad. Hey, maybe we can call my dad and ask him to bring my baseball cards. Can we, Mom? Can we call him and ask him to come? So what's the penalty for breaking and entering these days? It's kind of hard to make the charges stick, Dimitri. Being as this is my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm sorry to disappoint you. No treasure maps, no illegal weapons, no drugs. Just my petty cash. There's nothing petty about it. Look, why don't you see if there's a debit log with Brooks' name or the pilot's on it? You're not going to find what you're looking for in there. Why don't you tell me where I'll find it? Where did you send Brooke and Jamie? Dad, Brooke picked the location. I'm not her travel coordinator. I'm getting out of here before I kill him. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. I'll see you soon. I'm going to Tempo next. <sighs> you know, you almost destroyed our grandfather's desk. Big deal. Better that than Brooke's life. I am saving her life. Keep saying that to yourself. Maybe you convince yourself. Look, Emma, I got no satisfaction from her abandoning her life. There's no benefit to me other than the fact that I helped set her free. You are helping to bury her. I'm helping to keep her alive so that she can have a life with her son. You know, I have tried to explain to you the ramifications of what you're doing. The cost exacted by this so-called flight to freedom. But I am through talking, okay? I'm through talking. That's it. You tell me where Brooke is right now. I call the police. I have you arrested for aiding and abetting a fugitive. Your dad's not going to be able to join us on this trip. Call him and see. It's, it's very late. And you know what? I don't even know how long we're going to be here. You know, we have a lot of traveling to do, and... Uh, don't you like seeing all the new sights and, and meeting all the new people? No, I miss my friends. Junior's my best friend. I know he is. I know he is. He lets me sleep on the top bunk now. When he and Dixie lived with Dad and me, I had to sleep on the bottom because I was too little. Oh. You sure are a lot bigger now, aren't you? You know what? I think that you're big enough to learn how to ride a pony. What do you think about that? Junior and I rode a horse in Pigeon Hollow. I rode on the back. He showed me how to brush her and feed her oats. Junior was going to show me how to ride by myself for my birthday. Who's going to sing me happy birthday on my birthday? I, I will. Of course, you silly. Hmm? I'm going to sing happy birthday. So, you rode a horse, huh? Not even a pony. Can we call Junior? Honey, it's very late. Tomorrow then, okay? And then Phoebe and Dad. You know, I'm not sure about tomorrow, but you know what? We can call them. We can call them soon. Okay? But in the meantime, we... We have lots of things that we're going to be doing. We're going to be busy over the next few days. You know? Okay. Honey, I know that you miss being home, being in Pine Valley. I know that, you know? And I, I know it's very strange here. And, you know, people don't speak don't speak English and it's fancy food all the time and, it, and it's it's sort of unfamiliar. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask the concierge if she can make us a real hamburger and some french fries and we'll, we'll have them. And we don't even have to have them for dinner. We can have them for breakfast if you'd like. Huh? What do you think about that? With ketchup? The works. Mom, how long do we have to be here? I'm not sure, honey. 
We're never going home, are we? We have to run forever so we don't go to jail. Well, go on, make the call. The police have to find out sooner or later. All I care about is Brooks' freedom. What, what, Edmund, you want me to make the call? All right, I have to face the music. Sooner or later, I'll leave your name out of it. Here. You've complicated everything, including your own life. You think this, this, this silence is some noble act? It is selfish, self-righteous stubbornness. Oh, but that's what it is, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes, and you be very clear on this. The very lives you think you're saving will ultimately be destroyed. Brooks, Taz, Jamie's, and it's going to be your doing. I don't see it that way. And then there's your own miserable life. You're going to end up in jail. Well, what, uh, what now, Edmund? First the desk, now uh, this. You're going to demolish the entire study? From now on, clean up your own damn mess.